If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. You can change the data range of a chart in Excel. This helps if you accidentally select the wrong cells before creating a chart, or if you later need to change the data within an existing chart. To change the data plotted in a chart in Excel, select the chart or one of its chart elements. Then, click the Select Data button in the Data Button group on the Chart Design Contextual tab of the ribbon. Doing that then opens the Select Data Source dialog box in Excel, which lets you select the chart data cells. The Chart Data Range field in this dialog box contains a reference to the currently selected chart data cells. To change the data range, click the Collapse Expand dialog box button at the right end of the Chart Data Range field to collapse the Select Data Source dialog box. The selected worksheet cells then appear encircled by a blinking marquee in the workbook. To select a new data range, click and drag over the worksheet cells containing the new data to show in the chart. Then click the Collapse Expand Dialog Box button again to expand the Select Data Source dialog box. Then click the OK button in the dialog box to chart the newly selected data within the same chart. To change the chart's legend entries and axis labels, reopen the Select Data Source dialog box by clicking the Select Data button in the Data Button group on the Chart Design Contextual tab in the ribbon. In the Select Data Source dialog box, the Legend Entries Series section and the Horizontal Category Axis Labels section both appear at the bottom of the dialog box. If needed, to switch the column and row data in the current chart data range, click the Switch Row Slash Column button to switch the row and column data in the chart. To add another series to your chart, click the Add button in the Legend Entries Series section. Then click into the Series Name field in the Edit Series dialog box that opens. Then click the Worksheet cell containing the series name's value. Alternatively, type a name for the series directly into this field. Then click into the Series Values field. Then click and drag over the worksheet cells that contain the values to show in the series. If needed, you can use the Collapse Expand dialog box buttons to help you select those cells. After adding the necessary cell references, then click the OK button to add the series to the Legend Entries Series list. To edit a selected series in this list, select the series in the Legend Entries Series list to change. Then click the Edit button in the Legend Entries Series list to reopen the Edit Series dialog box. Then change the cell references in either the series name or series values fields as when creating a new series. When finished, click the OK button to finish and return to the Legend Entries series list in the Select Data Source dialog box. To delete a series in the Legend Entries series list in the Select Data Source dialog box, click the name of the series in the list to remove. Then click the Remove button in this section to remove the series from being plotted in the chart. This doesn't delete or otherwise affect the cells used by the series, it only removes them from the chart. To change the order in which to plot the series in the chart, 
Select the series to change in the Legend Entries series list in the Select Data Source dialog box. Then click the small Move Up and Move Down arrows in the Legend Entries series section to change the order of the series in the list. To change the cells to use for the axis labels in an Excel chart, click the Edit button in the horizontal Category Axis Labels section of the Select Data Source dialog box to open the Axis Labels dialog box. Then select the cell range in the Axis Label Range field if needed, and then click and drag over the worksheet cells that contain the Axis Labels. You can use the Collapse Expand dialog box button if needed. After selecting these cells, click the OK button to return to the Select Data Source dialog box. To set how a chart in Excel interprets hidden and empty cells in its data range selection, click the Hidden and Empty Cells button in the lower left corner of the Select Data Source dialog box. Then select the desired option in the Show Empty Cells As section in the Hidden and Empty Cell Settings dialog box. You can show them as gaps in a line, zero value points in a line, or you can connect data points with a line. After selecting your choice, you can check or uncheck the Show NA as an empty cell, or Show Data in Hidden Rows and Columns checkboxes if desired and if available. The Show Data in Hidden Rows and Columns checkbox is unchecked by default, which hides data in hidden rows and columns in the chart. Checking it shows that data in the chart. After choosing how to display hidden and empty cells, click the OK button to return to the Select Data Source dialog box. To apply the changes to the chart data after using the Select Data Source dialog box, click the OK button. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.